All right, my friends, welcome back to Frog Boy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew, and today we are going to be upgrading the PC to the AM5 platform. So this is my first time doing an upgrade. Now I did put this bad boy together myself, but today we are going to be doing the upgrade from AM4 to AM5. And I'm gonna go ahead and film that for you guys. Um, this here is my H7 Flow. You can see my, my horrible wiring in the back. I am going to be reusing a lot of these parts, but we are changing out the motherboard, the CPU, and the memory today, as well as, well, let me show you what else we're doing. We are gonna take this dust catcher, and we're gonna pull the, um, the two terabyte SSD out of this, and we're gonna be putting that in the new PC. Um, I actually had already planned that before, but my motherboard, the B550, because I went from I'm going from the B550 to the B650. Um, both both of them are still going to be MSI, but I was going to put that that SSD in there a while ago. But unfortunately, there was only two slots for there was only two a way to put two of those into here. So is what we're going to do first is we're going to start out with building this board. I kind of should take that out and take the SSDs off of that first. Let's, yeah, let's do that. Let's do it that way. So let's go ahead and grab the trusty screwdriver. Now, um, <clears throat> okay, so I know that you need to update the BIOS and stuff. So it's what I did was I looked on my B6550, uh, my B650, my manufacturer date is 12 of 23. So therefore I should have chipset on there for the 7800X3D. I should be able to get it post, to get it to post and all of that stuff. The way you find that, I have to look this up. So the 16th, um, so right after the B on the uh, serial number, you'll have your numbers. Mine are 23 and 12. So that means it was um, on the 23rd, uh, uh, 2020, uh, the year comes first, which is 23, and then the month, which was December. The launch of, so anything built after March, yeah, I believe it was March. So March, every, man, every board manufactured from March 2023 forward should already have um, updated BIOS for this chipset for the 7800X3D. So they start a month before the chip comes out and then they should have that BIOS update for them already. Um, this here will have actually a few more because it was built in December. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this 4080 Super on out this little bad boy right here. We're gonna remove this screw. Um, I would show you guys with the camera, but I need to be able to see this myself. I mean, I guess I could just lay it on its back and do it, but you guys can check out my beautiful wiring back there while I'm doing this. Um, dang, I zip tied those to the, AI, to the AIO. So I will have to find a way to cut those because I did zip tie them. All right, so screws, I'm gonna go over here with those. Um, you know what? I will just, I don't want to unplug this freaking connector from the 4080, but I'm going to do it this one time. Oh shit. I probably just cracked my board. I probably just broke my 4080 guys. It's done ski now. That thing lifted up. I hope I didn't crack that freaking PCB board. That will suck. Look at that chunky boy. Look at that chunker. Look at that little chunky chunker. Yes, I did pull out my air and blow this thing off before I let you guys see this filthy fucker. Oh, okay, so we'll go ahead and lay this baby down now. I'm gonna go ahead and stand up. So let's move the 4080 over. Let's move this completely off the table because as much as I love my 4080 Super, I do think that we will be booting this up with the uh, um, with, with an AMD card. So let me go ahead and just move these plugs out of here. 
Now I'm gonna have to pull these out just to get that out, ain't I? Oh, duh. Okay, okay so I'll pull out these memory modules. Gosh, these are some nice vengeance. Freaking DDR4. Man, I can't believe I let you guys talk me into this. So I will have to, it appears, add another eight pin CPU power supply plug. Yeah, I'm gonna have to, but I gotta figure out how to get this one off. So, we're gonna need a flashlight. Okay, how's that flanger come on? Okay. It's gonna have a little tab. I gotta pull these antenna things off. there seriously like what the actual I don't want to freaking I don't want to break it Hold that flashlight for me. All right, there we go. Got it dislodged. Got all these other freaking wires everywhere. Fan modules. Freaking janitor board. 24 pin Just kind of fold that in there. We got our SATA cable Take our AIO off of here. Oh Dude, I don't even want to I don't even want to know. Ah sheesh. This thing is Whew. That thing pulled the CPU right out of the socket How nice of it to do that. Gosh. Now we gotta just find a way to get this off without bending a pin. All right, we got it. Now we're gonna set this because I need something to set it on. This will work for now. And then we're going to just set that baby up high and then I'll reinstall it in the board before I take it out. So I just got to go find me some uh, some alcohol pads. So I think that's essentially everything off of that. This is going to go to the AIO with that screw. All right, now we are just going to be, gosh dang. Some of these plugs don't want to just come out easy, man. Some of these guys like to, like to, like to be very, very mean to unsuspecting stupid people. And I might be one of them. So here's one screw. There's two. I think there's like three across the top, if I remember correctly. Two, three. 
I don't know why I'm all anxious, guys. Probably because there's a lot of stuff and I'm trying to film it and I'm like feeling like I'm kind of rushed because of the because of the freaking battery or not battery but the amount of time I can record with this camera. It's like three hours and I don't want this to be like a super long video either. I just want it to be just want it to be fast and efficient. Just want you guys to believe in me. Just believe in me. Ooh, dang, we still got a cord right there and another one right there and another one. There's a lot of fans and stuff on here. Got another screw right there. Okay, I think that is all of my screws out of here. So now I need to... All right, so that's unplugged, that's unplugged. Probably should unplug this before. Gosh dang, some of this stuff is not coming out easy. Okay, wait, do I have another screw in here somewhere? These dumb things. Mm. Might have to remove this AIO to get this bad boy out of here. Okay, so there's our 550. I cannot believe that freaking, that CPU just popped right out of there. Like that is crazy. I know it just moves it aside or whatever. You know what, it actually did that when I pulled out the, the 5900X as well. So this little tiny arrow I believe goes to that little yeah yeah and then you just slide that baby over and then as what we'll do is I'll just slip this motherboard right back into this box after we get that off but let's go ahead and remove our Freaking SSDs. Okay, so the one up here by the top by the CPU, that there is usually always going to just boot. I, I feel, I think, as your drive C because this is the closest to your your CPU. So I believe that one there is always the always your C drive or whatever. That one's closest to your CPU. That's usually your your main drive or whatever. Unless you set something else as your main drive. And this here has a one terabyte crucial, which is a 4.0 M2 2280. So that there is a decently fast little, little fast guy. He's a little fast. Just mother freaking pins everywhere. I might have to call my wife to bring me some alcohol pads. I'm gonna need them because I gotta do the so I wanna get this screw back in here first. Sorry guys I'm not gonna be speeding this video up. You're getting a whole shebang because I'm talking through the whole thing so you guys can you guys can watch it. I won't speed it up or anything and try to make it so so it looks all professional. I'll let you guys see the whole struggle. From start to finish. 
The only thing I got anxiety about really right now, my friends, is the freaking... Gosh, dude, I like this mag board. I think this thing is a beast. I really do like this. Kind of don't even feel like I needed to upgrade, but... You know, for the sake of being a YouTuber, you kind of have to do things that you don't particularly want to do. I mean, look at some of my colleagues. They have to hate video games just to make money on YouTube, and that sucks. That sucks. I do. I really do feel for them. I mean, imagine having to be mad at a game like Helldivers or Hell, or had a. Imagine having to be mad at a game like freaking. Okay, let me take this case off. Let me let me take this off before I keep chat chatterboxing. Boo, 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 boo. You know what, guys? If this thing doesn't work, I might just quit PC gaming. If this is not a smooth install, gosh dang, man, that thing almost. But I want, I feel like, no, that goes with the board, so I'll leave that on there. I'll leave those, those on there. Come on. It helps if you have a magnetic screwdriver. Technically, you should ground yourself, because... Technically, you should really ground yourself with these because electric shock could potentially fry your stuff. Just a little static shock. Now, I don't have any kind of carpet on the ground, so I might be okay from that, but whatever. Like I said, dude, if I fry this thing, I'm done. I'll just go back to my consoles and just play my eggs box. We're getting another stupid laptop so I can keep running the channel. So, man, this motherboard has been my bebe for the last freaking nine months of PC gaming. This has been my, my freaking pride and joy, man. I was so proud of this build because it was my technically my first freaking PC build. So I'm going to set this bad boy right here. Go ahead and stick that. That's my four terabyte. That's my, wait, is that my four terabyte right there? This might be my... Oh yeah, this is my Western Digital. This is... Maybe that's why my freaking PC was slow. No, I just pulled this one out of the bottom, right? Or was it this one that I just pulled out of the bottom? Who knows? This is the one that has the, the thing on it, so... All right, so let's go ahead and pull out our brand new board. Oh. And then, as we take it out of its little baggie, set that bad boy down, and then we will put the new one or the old one back in this bag. Because I have not decided if I'm going to sell it or... I'm probably going to sell it, guys. If, it, if my new one posts and works all right, I'm probably just going to sell this off and then go put that money toward paying this back off because <laughs> that's quite expansive all right so i'm gonna stick that right there i know there's some other stuff in there but i want to be able to get this bad boy right in front of me all right now we got the little bracket that my good friend said was going to be an awesome tool so it comes with its own little screws uh, it does come with some more um of that, but I already bought some freaking... Do you guys think I should use the...
coarse air or should I just use the one that came with this bracket? Ooh, look at that. That thing looks kind of cool, man. It's all nice and red and beautiful. So in order to do this, you have to remove these four. Okay, that does not feel super secure. So is what we'll do is we will not over tighten the red thing. But I did watch a video and it says to be very, very gentle when you lift this off. So I don't know why it came with screws if I already got these screws. Oh, that's going to pull the whole lever thing off too. Now this is the crazy dangerous part of the build. So All right. We have that up. Man, dude, that feels really robust. I don't know if like that there is really going to make a difference, my friends. This feels good. Like this this thing feels very very nice. Oh yeah, you do need to... I don't know, man. I don't know if I want to put this thing on instead of that. Now, gosh, all right, but we need our CPU. We're just gonna do it. Gotta make my buddies happy. We'll make my friendies happy. So we're cracking the seal. Pow, it's open. The Ryzen 7800X3D. This is the first time I've ever bought a CPU. Does it come with a cooler or something too? That's a big ass box for, oh, dude, it's literally empty. It's all plastic freaking. They could have put this in a much smaller box, but you know what? This will look good on the thing. Like, gosh, look at that. Look how small that thing is. And all the pins now, you don't have to worry about the pins getting all messed up. Ooh, that thing is beautiful. What a beautiful little chip. I feel like Lisa Sue right now. Bam! Just holding it up. Look at the chip, guys. Look at the chip. So it looks like this was supposed to go on like a show. Move it around. Okay. And then we'll stick our thing right like so. Well, guys, that is a nice fit. I'm not even going to lie. That is a nice fit. The red actually looks pretty cool. It does feel a lot more firm than the thing that comes on it but like well we'll get some of these screws in here just go ahead and seat them for now and then tighten up the top right down to the bottom left up to the top left and then down to the bottom right I'm going to try to put just a little bit of a torque on that to make sure they are all solid so after you get that on it should look good like that with a nice red square that actually looks good I wish my other camera was charged. I would get us a picture, but I cannot get us a picture, guys. Like, I am so sorry that things are turning out this way, but I was gonna wait until the weekend to put this thing together and to do this, but I also wanna get it done because I wanna be able to do other stuff on the weekend. So, now we are going to move this old motherboard down here for right now, because we have to surgically remove the drive out of the ps5 so that we can get this done as well so i've got another find my other little 
flat head blade right there. So the CPU part's done. That was the one that was like the most stressful, especially like pulling off that uh, had a thing for it, the bracket, man, that was kind of freaking me out. I'm not even gonna lie. I didn't want to bend any of those dang pins because we all know what happens when you bend a pin. Oh yeah, and uh, this, whew, this really cool dock for your PS5, that bad boy will tell you the temperature on your PS5. So if you've got like an older model like this and you are, gosh dang it. Ugh. I don't remember how these freaking stupid things pop off. I think it goes. I think it's that top down. Gosh, this piece of junk. Sorry, sorry. It's the best thing ever, guys. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be. Don't mean to trash talk my PS5. I just, I don't know, man. Sometimes I like the design of the PS5. Did you know the PS5 has a 10 layer PCB board, which is actually, actually more than the board I just bought, which is a six or an eight layer PCB board. And the Xbox only has a four PCB layer board, which is pretty insane. I was kind of a little bit shocked, honestly. Are you kidding me? That thing is like slid way out of where it's supposed to be. Samsung. Nine eighty Pro. I paid four hundred dollars for this drive. Um, and I'll be able to leave it in here and put it in the PC because this board actually is uh, actually doesn't have all three of these with a thing on there, but my four terabyte is going to go on the one. So we'll just go ahead and stick this screw back in here. I don't, I, I can honestly tell you guys, I'll probably never buy another drive for this PS5. Like I just don't play it enough and whatever I need to play on it, I'll just delete whatever I don't need on it. It's sad. I'm not even going to lie, guys. It is very sad that the PS5 is just... I, I, I bought a couple of games lately for it, and I'm just... Yeah, man, I bought I bought Rise of Ronin. That one was kind of disappointing. You know, Spider-Man 2 is all right, but I'll play that again when it comes out on PC. And then I'll freaking focus some time into that. But there you go. Yeah, PlayStation 5 already back together all seated looking nice we'll put that on the floor where it belongs so that we can focus on the rest of this now this is supposed to have like just little twisties or something i've never seen like the twisties so we're gonna put the ps5 drive which was this one on this side and then i believe that just slides around and should lock it Really? That's it? Okay, that works. We're not gonna we're not gonna beat it. We're gonna come down here to D2. And D1 should automatically just be I think like when you get into the booting order, that one there should automatically come up as freaking D1. Okay, so these right here might actually, yeah, they do have a little layer on there so we'll go ahead and peel that off it's crucial is my four terabyte so we'll go ahead and stick that bad boy oh i'm gonna have to turn this thing around as well stick it in there boop i'm gonna try going back this way see if it does any good Okay, that's how it locks in. Oh, I see. So it'll be locked in and it'll be flat against the back of the drive. Cool, cool. That's awesome. 
And then D2 will put back in its original form, which is something right around like this. Go ahead and screw these back in. Dude, that's so awesome. So now both of my storage down here is uh, Gen 4. So I got six terabytes in total for the Gen 4. And then I believe, I believe this Western Digital, it came in the freaking pre-built. So I'm pretty sure that this thing is literally one terabyte of, uh, one terabyte and this here is a, I don't know, it's probably like a Gen 3 or something. I don't think it's a fast one. I don't think it's super fast. I, I, I really should have just bought another drive today before doing this. But that's alright. It just runs my windows. I mean, the one thing I'm the most stoked about this this actual freaking PC is, is, that, is that amazing freaking... That amazing, amazing freaking... Um, having three of these bad boys having three m2s i'm i'm super excited about that and yes we are gonna just do the uh okay let me peel this off real quick and then we'll stick our drive in there kind of put these in at a little freaking angle like 13 degrees oh yeah i forgot about that and flat dude i kind of like those i i'm not gonna lie i like those i like the way that freaking seats with those on there to me that is way more freaking cool it almost feels like this is threaded into the top of the uh, thing as well and then this other one goes on here so it looks like it's got the same mounting for my aio but it looks like some of this stuff is coming in at a different angle like my like some of this stuff is like angled differently and then i've got like all these freaking fans and i've also we also got to get in the box and grab another eight pin freaking power cpu oh i really hope i've got another eight pin in here gosh dang i was gonna put another camera behind me but CPU 8-pin in my little kit, in my RM1000X. He's got all the fixings. So, now I just got to figure out how to get that other 8-pin on there. In a responsible way. Damn, I'm going to have to pull that out. Yep, sheesh. Well, I'm gonna sit down and do it. I gotta go grab something. I'll be right back in a second.
Sorry, I was trying to get some cotton swabs, but I needed my freaking wire snips. Because I need to cut some of this stuff. Oh, man. I would have much rather have just sat here and rebuilt like this whole freaking thing. But, okay, I just need to pull these screws out enough to get this power supply to turn. So that I can put this other freaking 8 pin CPU thing on there. Turn that off. Oh, I just need to get that to turn a little bit. Okay, so that's CPU. So I got another one right there on the top that I can just run that to. But it's like right freaking, it's like right there. So it's hard to get to if you don't have it in there. But then all of my GPU cabling, I might freaking rerun those. This is the best part of building a PC, my friends. I wonder if I should have, nope, it looks like it does. Yeah, it's a, it's a double freaking single slot on here on the back of this. And then the double pin thing goes up there. You know, I am glad that I spent that extra money to get this modular freaking power supply, my friends. Because that has made everything a peach. An absolute peach. And then you just get one little screw right down here started and then yes well there's actually two that you can kind of get started and, and like kind of get it lined up and, and that will that kind of makes it a little bit easier but i'm not even gonna lie the aio that i got the freaking msi one i kind of kind of don't like it well i mean i like it but i don't like it because of the way the freaking clips go on to the board <sighs> all right so this should just run right up along this cabling line because it's got oh, this little velcro -y strap things Don't worry, I got a bag of zip ties too. If it starts getting a little bit annoying, we'll just zip tie the crap out of these. It's just there's so many little tiny wires that now I've got to try to remember to get back in as well. You know what I like about this NZXT freaking cases it's got you've got like other spots that you can actually uh that you can actually like zip tire wires into <clears throat> so all right now this here is just extra i've got all these freaking gpu wires run that way i need to trim those i need to cut those off of the aio and then i'm thinking because i got to rerun this 
so maybe I can just run my GPU wires. Uh, I got them. Do I got them zip tied together? Oh no, they're going through that right there. They're just plugged into this. That's why. They still got the NVIDIA thing on them, so we'll go ahead and take that off. I'll run these babies back through here. Okay, CPU. Let's get those three over that way. SATA drive. Okay, so all three of these are GPU cables. But I think, okay, I gotta get my zip ties out. We gotta do some zipping and some tying on this, man. Oh no, they all dumped out in there. Gosh dang it. Oh. <clears throat> Next time I'm just building the whole freaking thing from scratch. I'm just buying everything. This sucks. <clears throat> Last time I did this, I was... Alright, so it's what I want to do this time. So I've got these right here to run these cables. Back of this. I just think that <clears throat> I just think I'm gonna have my my uh, CPU coming up right here. And then all three of the GPU wires going right along the side of it this way. You know, I didn't even realize how spoiled I was with this case when I first put this together because I was running all those other cables down the wrong way. Obviously, you can see that now. <laughs> that they were all run in a in the wrong way, but now it's going to be good. So. Thanks, this sugar. This is all I can find in where the box is. So. Okay. Thank you. Come on, Doc. All right. So now with these right here, I've already got two of them kind of zip tied up, but I need to put another zip tie right there because I don't like these freaking things like hanging around. So the one parts that kind of come off of them, I should have just freaking. So there's that now. Where did I put my clippers? And then this one is already zip tied. So we'll do this one. Sorry guys. <laughs> you guys wanted to watch this mess. Or maybe you didn't. Dude, I really hope that you guys watch this. I'm going to title it something like this freaking never wanting to do this again. I don't know. This, this is a lot more challenging to, uh, really to, uh, to do a, to do an upgrade than it is to, to just build the PC. Like this here is definitely more challenging. Okay. So I got all my freaking GPU cables. Um, I should hopefully, be able to run these out through here. Maybe. No, nope, they're going to have to come out this way. Let's go 
one at a time. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, actually that's not gonna work because I'm not gonna be able to freaking plug it into the Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to get that to plug in to the 7900 XT. Alcohol prep pads. Gotta clean all this stuff off of the AIO. Arctic stuff cleans off pretty well with the alcohol. Oh, these are work pants, whatever. Okay, <clears throat> I've got to figure this out. All right. <clears throat> I might have to run them up there that way. Gosh dang it. <clears throat> They might have to go that way. I might not have a choice. Because this is the CPU, the 12 pin. So that's going to have to go like that. Yeah, my GPU cables are going to have to still run the same way I already had them. Very disappointing, but this is one of those. This power thing. All right, so GPU, come on. That really sucks, man. I really wanted to freaking run these a different way. Gosh dang it. But the CPU one can still go up here and tuck behind that. We'll keep that right there nice and tight. Because I mean, this here does have that freaking, that whole front right there that you can get into that. So, I just don't like how that runs over that stupid freaking bay, man. Gosh. Let's get this. What is that? Let's get these. I'm just running here. if I can run them right out that little tiny hole right there. Well, if I just keep them down here like this. See, they, they fit okay in here when I have the uh, Radeon GPU in there, but when I put the freaking NVIDIA one in there, they just... Does this piece come out? I guess we're just gonna have to do the way I had it. So these will be down here still, but it won't be as bad.
Well, we've done that part. So now we're going to turn our attention back to the motherboard. We're going to throw in our memory because we need to get that slotted in before we can put on the... We're going to do these in A1 and A2. Ooh, these are some nice looking Vengeance memory modules too. Ooh, look at that. Some nice DDR5. Uno and those. So they definitely go this way. It's a good thing they only go in one freaking way, guys. Because somebody like me would absolutely break these bad boys. Okay, pow pow. So those are both popped in. So now We'll go ahead and move that stuff. Uh, I might as well just get the board in here like I did last time. Ooh. Okay, we got these three that are coming up through the top. Got these two CPU ones. Dang. Okay. All right, that feels like it landed in the spot. Damn it. I really hope the screws fit this one. Because this is my magnetic head. The other one's not. You know, I'm kind of glad that my USB 3 cable now is coming out that side instead of flat on the board. I do like that. Okay, so now that we got that, we can uh, get 
this is where things start to get a little scary come on I don't like this f stupid ass thread thing they got with this damn motherboard or this AIO you can barely get like a couple of freaking threads in there and then you got to get it to try to mount on this bracket <laughs> actually it's pretty easy so let me get this flashlight in a spot that I can see and then we're going to use this thermal paste. Now I would show you guys this on the camera but like I said I can't move the camera it's kind of over there a little ways and I've got my phone set up to uh, work as. Alright so Arctic, ooh it's got a little card thingy on it. It's got a little masher thingy. Yeah, baby. That's why I like this stuff. Corsair. Ooh, look at that. What does that thing do? Let's see what the instructions say. Gosh, English. Five gram syringe, B is a stencil. C is an applicator, and then D is the user guide. All right, so <clears throat> this right here says it's a stencil. Like, how do you use the stencil? Oh, I see. Oh, sheesh. Huh. What? It doesn't work. But dude, it shows like a thing like that. Oh, that's just so you can slime your stuff on there without it. And then this right here, so you can just smish. Oh, you put the stencil on that. Oh, dude, maybe that's, maybe that's got like a sticker on there. Yep. Ha, <laughs> LOL. Oh, I see. Look, it just you just tape it on there. And then that's supposed to... But I've seen other people putting the freaking paste all the way out on the little tab things. But I don't think you need to do that, obviously. That just... That to me doesn't make a lick of freaking sense, dude. All right, so we will apply a fat amount of this. Boop. And then we'll... Uh, whoo. Dang. Stick this back on there, dude. That's a lot. And then we'll take our little applicator card. Bleh. Maybe a little more. Because that did not freaking... Well, I mean, I don't need a ton of it. I'll just wipe it on there from that. I'll just wipe it across it. I was just going to smash it down now. Yeah, I think I wiped too much of it off when I smashed it down flat. Being dumb.
twist it so that it does not freaking back there. We still got some stuff for later. Card applicator. And a little book. This thing. We'll just drop that back in the box. And I can save that in case I need to reapply. And then you just peel off your little stencil. And uh, yeah, dude, that's pretty cool. I like that stencil. I don't think I used that last time because I am not a smart man. Ooh. So yeah, with this thing here, you gotta like freaking, this AIO. I love this AIO because it looks cool, but my gosh. And you can like turn it from one way to another. Okay, wait, where's the plug thing at? Okay, it's up there. Whew. Because I know I got a little plug wire that goes to that. It's right here. Okay. Boom. Now we will have our lights still with that. So now we'll go ahead and start hooking up the top of the board. So that's a system fan. Or is that the pump? Okay, so wait. So that there's three. Maybe that's there right there. Yep, one, two, and three. This is in a different spot. Hopefully I don't hook any of this back up wrong, man, because last time I was last time I was in control of my destiny. Dang. Wow. I'm getting this thing to come up and bend and turn around and fit on that. It might be impossible. freaking have these cords
It's not worth freaking breaking it. There we go. Okay, both of those are in. Okay, what else do I got coming up over in the top here? I could sworn I had more. Yep, it's this one. All right, what is that? There's a three, a three banger. Uh, pump fan. So let's stick that bad boy. Yeah, this has got to be the pump fan for that. Yeah, I believe that is what the red one is. CPU 12 pin. touching me dude So now I've got a bunch of other things. Okay, this is obviously for a SATA drive. So this is going to come through here. You know what? While I've got this bad boy open, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna run another one of those because I actually want to get like a four terabyte freaking SATA drive for this. And I think there's gotta be one in this box. It should come with one of those. Yep, here we go. Inta. Ooh, I got a sticker book. I like sticker books. I might not have got my my RGB freaking dragon light, but I got my RGB. Well, I got my dragon stickers. I got my dragon stickers. That is pretty cool. So yeah, while well, I've got this open, I'm gonna run. Okay, wait, what do I want? This one in there, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, dang, how did I run that thing? Oh, dude, I can't even run it like that, but I can run it down here. Cause that there is probably better. I wish this other one was like that. This other SATA cable, but this one here is freaking dumb cause it's like straight. But this one here will freaking just fold right straight up and hook into my drive. So yeah, I'm gonna use that one. The heck with the other one. All right, this right here is another one of them freaking fan cables or something. Okay, that goes like that. 
this goes back over here. Come on. Let's get you back into your freaking placement. Because once you get her, those CPU cables, you can pull them back down again. That's good. But this part's going to freaking suck real bad. Oh, no. Nope. <laughs> Didn't suck. Awesome. So this can probably just go right back into this damn drive because I've got it for now. Wait, where does it go though? Does it go over here? Let's do a good freaking little zip tying of them together. These are all of the freaking drives. Little freaking wire for them. So yeah, get them all in there. This already looks significantly better than I did. I'm a lot happier with this. But my CPU wire uh, still needs to come back up and over into that. So it looks good. Okay, the rest of this stuff. So. What's this one? Got that other set of freaking drive yeah. We'll go ahead and open this up. And then we'll just flip this bad boy. Up here. Perfect. Now that one's nice and hidden. So now I've just got to figure out if it's just the rest of these wires. Then we should be able to pull this one out from here, just under there. This one here is going to plug in sideways now. And just right over to the side. Gosh, dude, I'm gonna have to figure this one out now. Okay, I do like that better. But now, where does this one go? All right, and this one goes way up there now. Gosh dang. Gosh, and it's even freaking turned around on this one. That sucks. It's been in its own little world for so long, but now it has to, now it has to adjust. Wait, let's see how much of it. No, that doesn't have to adjust. It's the right way. Okay, cool. Huh. What is that, a fan? It's got one of them little three bangers on it. So I'm assuming I can just stick that on a fan thing because it's got like one of those. So that'll stick on that. 
now we've got the HD audio which is got to be this little contraption I think that's J audio HD audio so that's J odd one I think that does go over there because it is missing that one yep so this now is no longer freaking on this side but this is going to be more in line with this now but this is going to go down and then across and up all right what is this f panel what the hell is an f panel What the heck is F panel? Oh, that's right there. You can tell by how many plugs is in the little face thingy that that is an F panel. And then, oh, this is going to come up because this is my audio. The audio. So the audio is going to go right there. Okay, audio's in, front panel's in. I can pull these back a little bit. Oh, shoot, we got this guy too. What are you? Oh, another fan. Who are you? I'm a little fan, he says. I'm just a little fan. Let's see if I can just wind you down through here, Mr. Little Fan. That's one long wire you got there, Little Fan. Oh, one mighty, mighty, mighty long wire. Okay, so this Little Fan can come up through here. Okay, that's just a fan, so I'm going to have that come through right there. Because then that fan and that fan can literally just ride out life next to each other. Okay. Can I just freaking... Did I run that up there? Oh yeah, that's done. Down, down. Down, 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 down. Okay, so now we're into the zipping and the tying. All my wires are hooked up. Actually, I'm not going to zip tie those like that. I'm just going to put them. There's got to be a freaking thing to zip tie those two without having to interfere with that too much. Okay, those all actually look pretty freaking decent. All right, my guys. That is my wire mess. Tell me what you guys think about that. Wait, did I have an extra one? Did I not put this one in there? Oh yeah, I already did. I already put one in there. So I don't need that one. So gosh, guys, 
That actually looks pretty fire. I'm pretty happy with that. It looks pretty good. It looks like everything is mounted in there, hopefully correctly, and I don't have any extra wires. So now is what we're going to do is we're going to get the monster and put her in the PC. Ooh. I figure I want to go with my AMD card first. Ooh. Put the 7900 XTX or XT in there. What do you guys think? Good choice? No? Should have put the 4080 in? I want to see this because I'm more interested in seeing how much the gains I get on this are. Alright, so now we can just throw one of these uh, right here until we absolutely have to put the 4080 back in. Run these two bad boys up here, like a so. Stick in one, and then, oh, gosh, that thing is so annoying. Yeah, it goes like that. Okay. And this one as well. All right, so. All right, man. I think that is basically. keyboard on it but I need to get it over here to the plug so I've got to move the 4080 got to move a lot of this stuff man huh. I just have too much junk oh, wait do I have a freaking another cord I have another cord. Dude, I might actually have another cord. I don't know if this will work. Sheesh. It should be. So we might just be able to put this bad boy right here. Oh no, that one's not going to work, but I think this one will. Yep. The racing cord will do wonders. I got to clean up my desk before I do a whole lot more stuff. Huh. All right, let me get this out of the way. I've got to put in my, for the mouse, where's the mouse at? Where's the mouse connector now? I thought I had it right here, because I specifically pulled it out so that we would have it over here. Gosh dang it. Don't tell me I lost it, because I kind of need that. Mue, mue, importante. Where did I set that stupid thing? Oh, it's right there. Okay, windows. <sighs> Put this up here. Got 
two. Unplug this monitor. And then we'll plug this monitor cable into that. Oh man, I'm gonna need another drink. Okay, so I've got that. Okay, I got my keyboard to get my mouse, mouse pad. I'm doing all that before I plug in the power to it because I wanna see if this baby is gonna post. All right, here goes. Everything and nothing. My band. That fan spinning. That fan spinning. I mean, the lights are on, so it's got to be getting power to it. Oh, look at that. Ryzen 7 7800X 3D. Oh, it looks like she came on. There we go, Mag. Boom! She's coming to life, my friends! I hope I hit delete enough to get into the freaking... to the BIOS. Getting devices ready, 27%, 46. All right, we're into the BIOS. So now we've got to USB over to this. Um, boot priority. Let's go ahead and stick this bad boy. USB to EFI. Okay guys, I don't know why it freaking stopped recording, but uh, hopefully it's still, so I had to 
camera temperature has risen stop shooting if you are in shoot mode so it looks like the camera is pretty hot I'm just doing the windows thing now guys so it, it's gonna be a minute um, I'm just uploading the windows everything else seems to be working okay so far so I'm gonna upload windows and then I will let the camera cool down for a minute and then I will come back so I'll see you guys in just a second all right my friends the camera's cooled down so we'll go ahead and finish this i just started moving things back into place putting in my little gpu stabilizer now i did i'm going back with the radeon first with the 7900 xt like i said we're gonna hook that one up um i had to change out one of my cables because it was just too freaking short just making this thing such a pain in the butt to to get hooked up guys so now we got that cable in there but this one is so freaking long that I want to be able to kind of just wrap it back here and kind of loop those onto there but I'm gonna zip tie that but I'm gonna leave myself a little bit of length for when I'm taking out some of these cords and putting some in I wish that Gosh, I wish I would have ran these cords a little better when I when I first set this up. So now I got to do the capture card, get that freaking run with these ones into the back of here, kind of run it behind everything. Ooh! Well, I hope these are freaking high quality, freaking. USB so I got okay so the steering wheels plugged in I think I'm gonna run the I think I'm gonna try to run this back there too run this into the back of it run my my cable oh. so this one here I think has more USB more USB spots. Yeah, so I got four right there. Okay, what else do I need plugged in there? I got, okay, I got both monitors. Obviously the power supply will have to be plugged in last. I'll just plug that in last after I've made sure I've got everything else in. So I've got this plugged in. Oh, where's the other one at? I thought I had another one. I thought I had two of those because I had this plugged in. Oh, there it is. There it is. I'll plug this. Okay, so I think maybe this has got two slow Joe ones. So I'll put those right here. Okay, that one right there. You would think one freaking, you would think one Logitech plug would be insufficient for the mouse and the keyboard, but it's not, sadly. Okay, so then I got my Type C, which is for this. So we got this one that comes up, but I put this one back here. Cause that's like fast super fast and that's got a red one so that one's a fast one as well is that everything that i had hooked up on that because i had that in there hmm yes technically right now my uh playstation 5 okay so i had the PSVR 2 set up over there, but uh, this thing just needs a new home. I just, I need something so that I can hook it up to the, to the freaking PC already. Just got so much stuff just sitting everywhere. set those up there just want to make sure I'm getting everything I need hooked up back into that 
so that when I do put it back over there, everything's hooked up. Oh yeah. Wait, what's this? So wait, what's this other cord? Yeah, that's going into that. What the freak? Oh, is this the other one? No, that's got to be from... Maybe that is my other... Okay, yeah, that's going into that. So this one here is probably my other capture card thing. This right here is the Nintendo plug. Gosh, guys, I'm sorry that this has to happen. Okay, this is my charge cord for the ROG. So this obviously gets its place over here as well. So I just need to move this around. And then this wire is that light, so I'll just hang that up there for now. Okay, that's my keyboard charger. This doesn't need to be here. These freaking gloves. That's my ROG charger. My actual ROG charger. I'm just moving all this stuff off my desk onto this table for now. So that we can just we can do this. That's where that thing is. Gosh dang it, I was looking for that little thing. Okay, I don't want to lose that. That's the NVIDIA cable thing. I'll lose that, then I can't plug in the good old Invidger. Okay, that's PlayStation charger cord. <sighs> Told you guys. I'm a sloppy, sloppy, dirty old gamer. Don't worry, we're getting this stuff cleaned up tonight. Oh, that's my battery charger from the camera. Zip ties. Oh my goodness. Okay, frog, he's gonna go back. Okay, this is a Mue Mue Importante cord. Yes, I did run that through that. Gosh dang it. Huh. That's so dumb. I should cut that one out. Oh no, I'm gonna do that. I'll just leave it. But I'll just run it up here because now I use this cord for stuff around. I'm going to put my rod in here so it don't get all messed up. I'll put that over there.
<laughs> oh my goodness. All the stuff I buy for the channel and I just put all the freaking paperwork right here. Gosh, I'm such a pig, man. All the other stuff that comes with everything. My desk needs to get cleaned and stay cleaned. I just don't, I don't have any drawers, so that's why everything just goes right here on the top of the freaking desk. And I just let it sit all there. So I'm glad we're doing this tonight. I'm glad we're doing this tonight because then that gives me the whole weekend to just do other stuff. Okay hey boys, this is going to be loud. I'm going to blow all the dust off of everything. <laughs> yes, I had to get the duster out for the PC, so I thought I would just clean everything else off too. Guys, I'm feel real freaking filthy dirty right now. I didn't even, okay. So let's get this light plugged back in so we got some light over here again. Okay, I think, I think we've got everything hooked up. So now, I think we're going to go like this with the PC from now on. I don't think the PSVR 2 is going back up there. I just don't have enough room for that thing to sit up there. So I think this, well no, because this still kind of has to be a little bit straight for, those, for that to work. Okay. Oop, front cover. Got to put the front cover back on. I really like this case, man. I think this thing is so awesome. All right. We will turn her back on. Now hopefully all of my freaking screens should come back on. Oh no! Let me turn that off. Okay, sorry about that. I still had that plugged into the PC. So that wanted to come back on. But I've got this over here, this right here. Okay, yeah, everything's looking a wee bit more freaking organized now. It's nice to see my desk again. I'm not even joking. Wait, how's it a type C? What did I have? Oh, the camera. I gotta find that freaking other cord then. Not cool, not cool. Oh, it's just right there. LOL. Right, guys, well now we're all magged up with the B650 oh, You know what I want to do Just so that I can kind of see a little bit Alright, I need to turn that oh, And then I think the camera needs to be a little more over here for this I need to turn this back on so you guys can see my beautiful face. Well, it was working a minute ago. Now everything's all retarded.
trim this on for the torque. I didn't freaking turn the drivers on. Or uh, I didn't install the drivers for the AMD thing before I turned it back on. No signal. One, please check the power of the external devices and cable connection status. Two, press the input button on the TV remote to change the input. Three, for external audio devices, please go to settings. Sound, sound button change settings to HDMI ARC. Red button, show hide. So before I just turned it off a second ago, I turned on like XMP or something. So let's get in here and turn off that XMP stuff. Let me turn on my drivers and just there. Okay, here we go. Now Windows is gonna come back on maybe. Hi, Winders. Okay. Okay. Okay, so... Now we need to get in here and download some AMD drivers. I don't know if MSI downloaded the uh, AMD. Whoa, buddy, no, we don't want that. We want AMD drivers. Gosh dang it. Ugh. Processors. Rise in the eight thousand series. No. Seven thousand series, yep. Seventy eight hundred X three D. Windows 11. So I got in the BIOS already. I disabled the freaking iGPU. So that's done. Now I've got to turn on my, these drivers. The AMD drivers are like really easy to delete. You just boop boop, delete them real quick so that when I put the Nvidia card back in, that's why I wanted to do this one first because this one here, at least then I can get a baseline for the overall system because AMD is pretty, like synchronizes pretty good. But I want to see how good, uh, yeah, definitely install the upgrade. We definitely want that. We'll get in there and we'll kind of see how freaking, I want to see, oh dude, that's what I forgot to hook back up. 
was my cord for my Man, I just want like a shorter cord. I'm gonna do a shorter cord. I don't need this long one. I could have sworn I just had a PlayStation one right here somewhere. I will just use this for my troller. Where is my controller? Where did I put you? My new favorite one. Where's my turtle beach? Where you at, turtle? Turtle. Where'd you go, turtle? Turtle. 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 There you are, turtle. Why are you hiding from me, turtle? Turtle. Turtle. Turtle was hiding from me. Sorry guys, man. Yeah, dude, this thing was down for a minute. Or <laughs> my my camera was so freaking hot that that I just had to. I just had to freaking let it cool down for a minute. Or I would have just did the whole thing. But you guys got some I feel like you guys got some really, 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 really unbelievably good freaking footage out of Let's get into this adrenaline software because I got to set my color up, man. I have to. That's that's an immediate, every dang time. This thing posted quick, like really quick. Oh man, I forgot. Every time you do this, you gotta freaking restart it. Before you can even get that to pump and up. That's like the one thing that I didn't want to have to do, but it's better that I do it tonight so that. Uh, <laughs> it's better that I do it tonight so that. I don't have to mess with this thing on the weekend. So now I can just get in to testing games tomorrow night and the weekend. Quit yelling at me, LG. Seriously, are we going to get these freaking black screens every dang time? Gosh. The graphics look better on the new mag one. That looks cooler than the old one. Probably gonna freaking need to work itself out for a little while. I almost feel like it did this last time too. When I first started doing the PC thing on here. When I first built this the last time, I feel like it was like slow starting for, for a while. But then it got accustomed to whatever it was doing. Yeah, there we go. supposed to be faster with a 7800 no I'm just joking I'm joking don't get all salty with me fellas well howdy fellas all 
Alright, there we go. Gaming. Graphics. Oh, we want display. Yes, we want virtual super resolution. Virtual super resolution. We like virtual super resolution. Okay, then we want color on. Boom. We want color on. Bam. 156. Bam. We want you on. And then boom. We want that on. Boom. So I usually go to like 150, and then you can do like color temperature control, custom color, you can do freaking color deficiency correction, all of that stuff, and it just looks incredible. I, I love it. I love the AMD side of things. Okay, so all of that seems pretty good now. Those are those are usually two settings that I hurry up and click on every time I re-upload the drivers and stuff. So now we're going to go into some steam in pile of cow dung library. Okay, let's see. Dragon's Dogma 2. thing on to overlay Dang, dude, every time. <sighs> oh, the whole freaking setting things up. You know, I kind of like it, but then I kind of don't. Like, sometimes it gets annoying. Sometimes it's, like, fine, whatever. Setting everything up again and having to go through all this stuff. It, it can be quite the annoyance when you're doing this, when you're setting everything up again. 600 frames a second oh man you gotta compile shaders dude that sucks this is like that one game like this is this is the end all be all to be completely honest with you man i mean if if a 7800 xt can't get me better performance on dragon's dogma 2 then it's like you know this is this is the benchmark for the cpu because everything else runs absolutely incredible so of course we're gonna do Dragon's Dogma 2 and I might actually record the footage and put that in this video as well. I, I will. I will. I'll, I'll record the footage so we can look at that because this is the ultimate freaking um, benchmark for this CPU. So I will try to I will try to like do like a the thing in here and then this will be at the end of the video. Or maybe I'll just have this playing over me talking from the point when it starts, when I start recording it. Or maybe, yeah, dude, it takes forever to compile these shaders. You'd think it'd go a lot faster on this CPU. RAM 16, CPU is at 84%, 82 degrees, 69. I'm just hoping. I don't know why it gives me such anxiety, but gosh, dude, I've had anxiety all day wanting to come home and just do this and get her done and, you know, not, not rush myself through it and doing all that, but sometimes you just... Sometimes you just <clears throat> so we got the 
We got the B650 motherboard installed. We got the freaking 7800X 3D installed. We've got the uh, the new RAM sticks. Uh, they did. They're they're only posting right now. Uh, let me check that. Why this thing is doing its thing? Let's do the task manager real quick. Oh, wait, right in here. And then it was <clears throat> task manager. T A task manager. I want to see because I restarted it. So let's see if it's uh, showing me. My correct memory speed. Yep, 6,000 megs. <clears throat> <clears throat> so it was posting at like 45 or 48 or something when I checked it, but now, yeah, we're, we're running at 6,000. <clears throat> Everything is good. I'm not running any overclock on the CPU whatsoever. <clears throat> I heard that like the, the 7800X, the 7800X, well, the 3D variants don't do over over overclocking or something or whatever they said it was but oh wow dude it's only why is that messed up why is that in denver so yeah i just got this uh this new samsung smartwatch it's the uh, galaxy six <clears throat> the, the the six or whatever smartwatch 6 oh man this thing is so freaking cool it's got a bigger freaking watch face on it it looks so much better i don't want to wear it to work though man so i think i'll keep wearing my galaxy watch 2 or 3 or whatever it was it's like the i got the galaxy watch like the nice one the the full metal one that was like really good i like that watch a lot so durable so durable so i'm hanging on to that bad boy yes i'm a smartwatch guy that's weird but i like them at first, I thought they were like a gimmick, but now, like, because the other one I had was just a Bluetooth. This one here is actually like LTE, so if I'm, if I leave my phone at home, I can like call the wife and stuff from the freaking thing. Look at these shaders, man. Is this normal for a 7800X 3D? This is taking just as long as it did on the 5900X. Like, that thing took forever. Gosh dang! I mean, it's almost done. It's it's pretty close now. It's it's a let's say like eighty five percent done. It's just got that little bit left on the screen to go. Gosh man, <clears throat> I should have timed it so that I could see, but I didn't time it before on a fifty nine hundred X. Um, I'm probably not going to keep the 5900X or that motherboard or any of that. Like, I'm not interested in building another AM4 build. Um, now that I've upgraded to AM, AM5, I'm probably, if I ever do... When, when, I, when I actually move the studio down to the basement where we were planning on so I have a bigger area, then, <clears throat> then I will... Uh, <coughs> then, uh, then I will be able to... Um, oh, dude, I don't. I'm not using that mic. Duh. Uh, then I'll have more room. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> We're starting now. So I will get this bad boy up and a running. Okay, so let's go ahead and Alt R. Let's get into my recording settings. Okay. All of that is disabled, so I don't got no anything, no anti-lag, nothing. And then <clears throat> we will start recording. I'm just going to keep recording on the camera and not on the actual game. I don't have any sound. There we go. Now I got sound. Okay. Options. Display. Nope. Graphics. Okay, we're at 1440p refresh rate. One. 
Oh, it's stuck. Dude, I hate how that does it. It's stuck on DLSS, so... There ain't nothing I can do about that. Gosh dang it. Whatever. It's stuck on DLSS, but it won't... It, it doesn't give me DLSS on this... On this freaking GPU, so... Whatever. <laughs> LOL. If I don't turn off DLSS when I when I when I get out of this game, it's stuck in there. And it doesn't stay stuck in the FSR because So we are right here in the city. Woo dang, look at that. In the city, we're in the sixties. Oh my gosh. Oh no, we're still dropping down, but down that is it couldn't hurt to take it. Yeah, I don't think it was ever in the 60s in here. No way. I mean, it does feel a little stuttery. But I chalked that up to just being in the city life. Maybe because it's trying to run DLSS. Riding in an ox cart would be a welcome reprieve. They can be most convenient, though they travel only during the day. Look at that, dude. I could fill every single one of those. You would gather materials here, Master. Wolves! This boat is unlikely to catch a chill, however cold our ice attack may be. Let my magic scorch you in an adventure. I mean, I feel like it's running about the same. No, this is definitely running higher. But look at that, man. Why is it doing that? It's stuttering now. That freaking line, man. Yeah, this is definitely running better. We'll have to check and see what it does for the... Uh... Yeah, this this is running better. I mean, it's definitely staying higher than it was before. Like, we're in, you know, Not 70s. But I wonder if it's doing that because it's set to uh, DLSS on this game. I don't know if it's smart enough to know that like, hey, you can't do DLSS on here, but it's like locking it in there so it's like working or something. I don't know. Triumph. 
Schweigen. All right, well, all right, guys. So, yeah, it feels all right, but um, those, like, freaking major frame drops and stuff. So, all right, my friends, there you go. It's all hooked up. It's got the 7800X 3D in there now. I will run some tests, and then I'll get you guys some more numbers. So if you guys like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you all for supporting this channel. Um, and you know basically bugging me till I do this so all right guys I'll do some testing this obviously feels a little bit better on this game that's that's one of the things but we all know this game is still pretty heavy on the CPU so I'll do some more tests on some more stuff and then I'll get you guys some more footage so thank you guys and we'll see you in the next one